Amy Pinnell, Community Development Director for the Town of Brazelton, and we are here doing another Buy Local Brazelton Toolbox video. Um, in our series today, we're going to be talking about the importance of a website. And I've got with me today Alex Ballone, and Alex is with Pioneer Digital. Alex is a marketing specialist and just such an expert on all things. Um, nice. And so today we're going to be talking about websites, and it really surprises me that a lot of our local businesses don't have a website that they feel like uh, social media kind of does that for them and we're going to kind of talk about how wrong that is right and then we're going to be talking about a lot of the tools and insights and things that probably folks are missing out on because yeah. they're not really tapping into those resources so alex let's start off with kind of talking about why every business really does need a website yeah absolutely so websites are super important for every business to have one of the greatest misconceptions about small businesses is that it takes hours and days mm -hmm. and thousands of dollars to build a website. That's both true and untrue. You can build a website for millions of dollars or you can build a simple one yourself in a simple platform that's not that hard. So let me, I don't know where you're at in your entrepreneurship journey or in your marketing journey, but know that everywhere you go, there's a website for you no matter what. If you have two hours, you can build a website. If you have weeks and a huge budget, there is a website that you can build. I promise, and we're gonna talk about that today. I wanna to start off with a fact. 81% of consumers do a online search before purchasing something. So if you're selling a product or service and you don't have a website, and you're not coming up on Google, Yahoo, wherever, you're missing out on a lot of opportunity. Social media is huge, Facebook's huge, Instagram's huge, but the greatest part about that is you can link your website to that and right. allow that website to be your head sales rep all 20, 24 seven all the time. It does all the work for you. It gives your customer as much information as possible. Right, right. Because I think social media does a lot for yeah. you, but your website really does tell you about your brand, yeah. who you are as a brand and as a, a company. And that's, you don't get that in, on a social media page. Um, and there's just all that important information that you miss out too your hours, maybe where you're located, you know, what products do you sell? Exactly. Um, yeah, so much information there that you could be missing out on. Yeah, exactly. So your website is really important and it should stand separately than your social media because they serve two different purposes. So what is the role of a website in marketing? That's one of the most important parts. I always like to call it your head sales rep. Um, you can collect leads from it, emails, phone numbers, mm -hmm. You can tell your customer about all your products and services. You can name the prices. Um, you can collect a bunch of data about who your customer is all without you doing and lifting a single finger. You set your website up, you can leave it, and it will do all of that for you, which is incredible. So where do you start when building a website? You don't know how to build a website. People talk about coding and you don't know any coding. That's fine. Like we talked about earlier, there's different places for different people. So if you have a really small company and you've never and you don't have a budget and you've never built a website before, Squarespace is a great place okay. to start. Wix is a great place to start. And then if you're more advanced and you're looking to get into some of the deeper and more advanced websites, you can look into something like a Webflow or a WordPress. Um, if you're looking to scale your website, I highly recommend spending a little bit of money with an agency or a developer or a designer to go in and build a website that's more scalable. That way as your business grows, you can add to your website. Let's just talk about when you're building a website, what are the key elements, whether you're using WordPress, which can be a little bit more complicated to use, but mm -hmm. create a really cool website or Wix. Um, traffic, every website must have traffic. And this is one of the most difficult things to understand. We talked about in a previous video, SEO, search engine optimization. How do you come up on search engines to drive traffic from search engines to your website? Mm -hmm. That's one. That's a question that a lot of people will ask. If you just build a website and put it out there, www.mybusinessname.com, it's not going to come yeah, up because yeah. you're brand new. Google doesn't trust you. There's a lot of things that can come up above. Okay, what do we do? Yeah, what do you do? Great question. So I would just start by building a website. And if you have a good social media presence, link it to your social media. It doesn't have to, your website traffic doesn't have to come from Google or Bing or Yahoo. It can come from social media. Or what a lot of people will do is they'll print out a little QR code that links to your website 
mm-hmm. on a poster, on, on a oh, poster yeah. or a, a, a mailer or a business card, just say, hey, if you want to go to my website, just scan this right here. Then you could send people when you meet them in person to your website with all of the information that you have. Yeah, and getting those QR codes is super easy these days. There's lots of different ways to yeah. create that and, and get that for you. So that's easy. Super easy. All you got to do is go, just Google, how do I create a QR code? <laughs> Copy and paste the link from your website into the little thing that they give you. Hit enter and it will pop out a QR right code there. that you can copy and paste on anything that you want that will send it to that link forever okay. and ever and ever. Nice, so, nice. Okay, that's easy. Great way to start getting traffic. Then if you have some following on social media, mm-hmm. link to a website, to your website, and what that will do is start generating more traffic. If you post consistently on social media, that's what you're comfortable doing. That's what you're used to doing. All you gotta do is start sending traffic from your social media to your website. Hey, go check out my website. Add a link in your bio. If you're taking a video, say, hey, we just built a website, check it out. It creates good content if you just built a website. Yeah. And then after that, you become a little bit comfortable. You have some traffic coming to your website. Then you could start investing in what we call search engine optimization. Okay. And that's a little bit more difficult, um, but one of the best ways to start getting ranked on search engines is figuring out what words people use to search for your company. We can go really, really deep into this, but just to start off, we'll just say words that people, you think that people are searching for a company and then use those words on your website. That's all you gotta do. That's it? That's all you gotta do. Oh my gosh. Write a blog, use those words on your website, or you can go and get backlinks, which we've also talked about, which is just talking to your friends that have websites and having them link from their website to your website, giving yourself credibility. That way a search engine will start to show your website okay. and you'll get traffic. Oh wow, okay, yeah. well that seems so simple. Yep, so when you look up what is SEO, how do I get traffic to my website? You're gonna see a lot of very technical things, a lot of really deep, deep details, and it's good to familiarize yourself with those, but don't start there. Start on the simple steps. It's one step, one step, one step, and eventually you'll look back and be like, oh my gosh, I'm getting organic traffic to my website, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we talked about traffic. Um, A user-friendly design is really important. Every once in a while, you'll click on a website, and you'll notice it hasn't been updated in years. Oh gosh, I hate that. One color, all the same font, all of the words on one side of the page, there's no images. Yeah. A lot of website builders like Wix and and, um, WordPress and Squarespace don't even really allow you to do that anymore because they give you templates where you just drag a picture and drop Mm -hmm. it. So So it's easy to do that now. Um, But it's just important, have easy navigation. If you want somebody to go back to your homepage, have a home button. If you want people to know about who you are and what your business is, have an about us button. That way people can easily navigate your website and find Mm -hmm. all the information they need. I love so that, yeah. I call that you just having a user-friendly design. Um, make sure your content is quality. We have AI now, which is awesome. So if you write a sentence that you think makes sense to you but not your audience, go to ChatGPT and say, hey, this is gonna go on my website. I'm a tennis instructor or I run a local coffee shop. Can you help this make more sense to my potential customer? And it will spit out some website copy that you can just copy and paste to put on your website and it'll be great and easily readable. Yeah, yeah, easy so way. easy. So exactly, easy. and that's what we wanna do. Um, having a great call to action, like we talked about in the branding video that we did. Mm-hmm. It's at the very end of the user journey, we want them to know what we want them to do. Um, if we want our customer to buy something online, tell them, here's where you buy it. Buy here, buy now, visit our website here, call them to take action on your website. Okay. So one of my recommendations is emails are very always important when creating a business. Having contacts, people that you can reach out to. So have an email form at the bottom and just say, hey, if you give us your, a- your name and email, we'll follow up with something valuable, which is what we would call a lead form okay, um, and, or, or a lead magnet. Um, we'll follow up with something valuable. We won't spam you. That gives mm-hmm. us as business owners access to emails that can eventually turn into potential customers. Yes. I find that's really important. I get very frustrated when I just have a very simple question to ask a business and I can't find an email. Um, and maybe it's at seven o'clock at night or something, and it, you know I don't think they're going to be answering their phone, um, and I don't really want to leave a message. I just like you know when it's convenient for me, I want to send this email, and you can't find their email address. Exactly. So, so I like that um, you know or the sign up, like you said, you know sign up for a newsletter mm-hmm. or you know more information or things. So don't make it hard. Yeah. Don't make it hard on your customer. If you're asking for personal information, please make sure that your customer feels secure doing that. Make sure it's with a credit card processor that's actually reliable. Stripe's a great one. Stripe integrates with almost any website builder and you can use Stripe to take information, take transactions. It's got a low uh, transaction rate too. A lot of people overcomplicate this. If if somebody visits your website, 
your customer and your user should know exactly what you want from them. Yeah, you, you and sell. you've already got them there. Yeah, yeah, yeah take exactly. Advantage of that. They came to your website for a reason. They're looking for something. Give them what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. That's the most important goal of a website. So I think our big takeaway here is that it's so important for your business to have its own website. Don't be just relying on your social media pages to uh, handle all of that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of free tools out there. It's easy to set up a website. We've given you a lot of good references and, and uh, resources there to get going on your own. Or if you have the funding, uh, to, to hire somebody, you know, that, that is great as well. All right. Okay. Good seeing you. You too. Thanks. Thanks.